I'm Brian Dorsey from Google Developer Relations, and this is Eric Johnson. Hi. Also from Google. And we have with us today from SaltStack, Joseph Hall. Hey, guys. And we're going to talk about how SaltStack and Google Compute Engine work very smoothly together today. So Compute Engine itself is virtual machines hosted on Google's infrastructure. It's disk, uh, network, and the virtual machines. And what's SaltStack? Uh, SaltStack is a configuration management and automation framework that's designed for ease of use and speed. And it's geared especially for massive scale and flexibility. Massive scale is a good fit. Yeah. OK, let's go straight to the demo. Absolutely. OK, so for the demo today, what we're going to do is uh, use Salt to uh, spin up four Compute Engine instances and configure them as Salt minions. We'll install Apache and a custom index.html page. We'll open up port 80 uh, to allow HTTP traffic in. We'll set up a Compute Engine load balancer. Awesome. Uh, and then we'll demo that out, make sure that everything's working correctly. So if you're interested in uh, wanting to repeat this, uh, we have a uh, GitHub repository set up. And I'll show you links at the end of this. Uh, but this goes through all of the details on what we did to get this demo set up, including all of the configuration that you would need to have set up. Um, but what we'll do for, for the purposes of this is we'll just skip right down to demo time. And the first command I'll show you is how we can use Salt Cloud, which is a utility baked into Salt, to go ahead and create four Compute Engine instances. So why don't you tell us a little bit about uh, Compute Engine? Awesome. OK, so like I said, this is uh, virtual machines on Google's network infrastructure, Google's infrastructure, all the way through. And the whole system is designed to be fast. And this is fast and consistent. So we've got instances booting right now. In fact, they just booted. So that was four instances that um, allocated new block storage devices, uh, copied over the image, boot image, to those, the Linux image, actually booted from them, and handed off to a script to run whatever software you want to run. And in this case, that is Salt. So Joseph, what's going on here? So once the Salt Cloud determines that the machine is up and running and ready to be connected to, then it's going to log in and it's going to upload this bootstrap script for uh, Salt. That's going to detect the operating system that it's running on. It's going to configure the repositories for that OS and download and install Salt and get it up and running and uh, get all the keys uh, accepted and ready to go so that we can start throwing Salt uh, commands at the instance. Uh, and since Salt itself is a, an automation framework and re remote execution engine, then we can throw commands at it to uh, configure which packages need to be installed uh, define which files need to be laid down on the system and what they need to look like. And uh, also uh, throw remote execution commands at it and have it perform just our regular tasks that we perform on a regular basis. Nice. Yeah. So I think uh, we're, it looks like we're probably just waiting here for the last couple ones to finish. Um, and there they come in. So what we should end up seeing uh, is a list of attributes for each of these instances. Uh, once it goes ahead and displays. And sure enough, there's uh, the JSON output for each of these. So what we're going to want to do next uh, is show you a little bit about Salt's remote execution. And we'll use this command over here. And what I'll do is paste that in. And what this is going to do is um, it's going to use Salt. And it's uh, the asterisk there means to match all of the minions. And it's going to execute a command with the command.run module or the command module. And it's going to just execute the uname-a function across each of those or the command. Um, and then automatically return those results back. So you can see it executed all of those in parallel. We didn't have to wait for each one to complete. Uh, we got all of the data back. So that verifies that everything uh, was provisioned correctly. Uh, the minion is listening for uh, commands from the master. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and uh, use the high state command. And what this is going to do, since I have this already configured ahead of time, with those configuration files I have set up ahead of time, it's going to go ahead and install Apache on each of these instances, and then lay down a custom index.html file. Uh, the index.html file that we lay down is going to have the host name of that instance baked into it. Uh, the next thing I want to do is I just want to make sure that, uh, since I'm going to be doing this as a web server, so I want to make sure that port 80 traffic is allowed. So we'll go ahead and use the Salt Cloud utility to configure Compute Engine's uh, networking firewall rules to allow TCP colon 80. And it looks like that command is completed successfully. And the next thing I want to do is use uh, Salt Cloud uh, again to configure Compute Engine's load balancer. And let me just paste that in there. And then uh, hopefully Brian can tell us a little bit about um, 
Load balancing. Yeah, so this load balancer we're configuring right now is actually a Google data center level load balancer. So um, if you're interested in more, this is a very powerful load balancer. Um, it's aware of the health of the instances as they, as they come and go. And we published a blog post recently where we documented testing this out to 1 million queries per second uh, without any pre-warming at all. So it's really powerful. Great. And so we've already got it configured. And one of the attributes that comes back from here is the public IP address for this load balancer. And so it's a single IP address now. If I had, in this case, I only have four instances, but let's say I had 200 instances behind it, I can still send all of my traffic just to that single IP address. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what happens. If, uh, if things worked correctly, what we should be able to do here is see um, the web page for each of our instances served up through our load balancer. So it should. Nice. So how's the color? Oh, it just changed. Yeah, so hopefully we've, we've seen what? One and three, there's four and two. So it looks like all four of them uh, are provisioned be successfully behind the load balancer, and we did all of that with Salt. Excellent. Here's some links for some more information. So as I said, there's a GitHub repository if you wanted to replicate all of this on your own, and as well as a link over there to the documentation that shows all of the functionality that uh, is available to you for Compute Engine from Salt, and more information about uh, Google Cloud Platform and Salt Stack. And I'd like to say a very special thank you for Joseph Hall to, for joining us today to talk about this. Thanks, guys. And thank you for watching.